Welcome to the Sigma 3 channel. I'm Rob Allen, founder of Sigma 3, and I've been a full-time survival instructor for 15 years now. And in this first video in this series, we're going to begin our journey of learning trees and their many uses for survival and daily life. The format of each video will first show you the basics of identifying the tree, and then we'll talk about its survival uses and finally delve into its medicinal uses. Here at Sigma 3, we teach a lot about plants, and most of the art of survival is basically just understanding the commodities that are available in the wilderness and how to process those commodities into your short-term survival needs. So stick with me, and let's dig into the first tree on the list, the cottonwood tree. The first tree we're going to cover, the cottonwood tree, I chose for several reasons. It's extremely widespread all over North America and it provides excellent resources for fire making. Of all the survival skills, fire making is the top three most important short-term survival skill. And, and friction fire is always a skill that my instru survival instructor students struggle with the most. But before learning anything about the tree's survival uses, we got to first know how to identify it properly. With any plant-based skill, we need to be able to identify it in multiple seasons and at any stage in its growth and death cycle. That means knowing the tree just by its bark and shape only. So you'll know it in winter when no leaves are on it for identification. And it loves to grow in areas near rivers, lakes, and any kind of you know, bodies of water. It just tends to love water. And it's a fast-growing tree. You know, it has large grains, and that's one of the reasons it's so good for friction fire. The softer the woods are, the better they tend to be for friction fire in general. And generally, you want to start fire with soft woods and keep them going with hardwoods. Now, conveniently with survival, we're always heading towards water anyway. So you'll head downhill and usually find these kind of trees the closer you get to water. In order to properly identify the species, I recommend getting a local field guide for trees as well as downloading the Picture This app. I've had really great luck with the Picture This app. It's surprisingly accurate in identification. It provides a great journal from you, for you to save your photos to that you can come back and look on later so that you can identify that plant and look up the uses. The only real downside of Picture This is that it's not going to tell you the uses. It's not going to tell you the survival uses or medicinal uses. So you'll need to store that and look up later uh, what you can use that plant for. Now let's dig into the uses of cottonwood for survival. Let's start with the most important use for short-term survival, and that's fire making. Cottonwood is hands down the best friction fire tree in North America. And if you're new to learning friction fire skills, especially the bow drill, you'll find that it's the easiest of the woods to get a bow drill coal with. Now, everyone needs to know how to make a fire with no modern fire making tools. And we cover those skills heavily in our survival programs, but I won't get too far down the rabbit hole of talking about fire making because I plan to make a whole video masterclass on bow drill in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. But just remember that of all the river trees, cottonwood is one of the best uh, for all types of fire starting. It's, it's only real competition would be birch or box elder. Birch is more of a northern tree and box elder is a southern tree. But birch is best used with sparks or flames. You can use it for a bow drill, but it's not nearly as good as cottonwood. Though if you had a ferro rod or a lighter, you know, birch is definitely superior at catching a spark or a flame but it's typically only located in the north and cottonwood is much more widespread. So that puts it in a higher rank, in my opinion, than birch. Now, cottonwood is also exceptionally good for feather sticking due to its straight grain and it, it catches a spark easily due to its resinous oils. Uh, two more fire starting options available to cottonwood is the inner bark and it makes extremely good fire tender material that fluffs up into a, a hairy ball very quickly. And a third option is the seeds when they are in season, as they make an excellent flash tender that is 
you know, best added as an accelerant to other types of tinder. And lastly, the bark is excellent to make a, a hand drill uh, board from. You can literally pop the bark right off a dead tree and, and spin up a hand drill coal in no time. Cottonwood tends to have the best qualities for friction fire because it's light, doesn't easily rot, and can usually be found in great abundance in areas that it grows. It's also found all over North America from coast to coast in high and low altitudes. So it's a fantastic fire making resource if you know how to use it. Now let's dig into some of its medicinal uses. While cottonwood isn't known as a top medicinal tree, it does have some very good uses uh, for a whole host of remedies that can be used internally and externally. The best time to harvest this medicinal plant is in early spring when the first buds begin to pop out. Those early spring buds are high in resins that contain salicylic acid, which is the same substance that was originally used in aspirin. Today, salicylic acid is used for a whole host of over-the-counter products used to treat everything including headaches, fever, joint pain, acne, pimples, warts, and psoriasis. Salicylic acid is known to remove dead skin cells and has anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, analgesic type properties that can treat a whole host of external issues. Cottonwood buds contain high amounts of this salicylic acid, but willow is known to have higher concentrations year round of, of the plant compound, and they both typically grow in the same area, so it might be a better option for uh, that particular medicinal use. Now, you can make both tinctures and salves from the early spring buds. The salve would be used for external uses and the tincture for any internal uses. For internal treatments, you can use herbal medicines in the same way you can use aspirin. For a mild pain re reliever, anti-inflammatory, fever reducer, joint relief, and lastly, it can help you know, clear up chest phlegm. I also dug up a PubMed study that said that intermediate doses of aspirin relieve cough and congestion in people with chronic coughs. And considering it's basically the same compound, it seems that the old folk remedy for cottonwood would prove correct scientifically as well. Now we won't cover how to make those medicines in this video, we do that in a, another series later, but we do offer hands-on courses on how to make salves and tinctures and we are currently working on an online program students uh, where they can study for home, from home. So check out the links in the description below to learn more about you know, getting some hands-on training. That wraps up our talk on the cottonwood tree. Make sure you click the other videos. We're going to do a whole series to help teach you how to identify trees because it's really just one of those knowledge and skill sets that you've got to have if you're going to be good at survival. And if you've got an interest in taking some survival classes, check out the, the links in the description below. And for all you veterans out there, comment below. Let me know you're a veteran, where you served. We, we are GI Bill approved now for our 45-day survival instructor program. So if that interests you, check it out. And we appreciate y'all as always. Sigma 3 out.